Hi, I'm Brenna Nath, HIV Plus Managing Editor here at Housing Wire. I'm excited to be at MBA Annual in San Diego. And right now I'm joined by Aaron King. He's the founder and CEO over at SnapDoc. So first off, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So we're here to kind of dive into a lot of the exciting announcements and some of the latest announcements happening at SnapDocs. So jumping right into our first question, why did SnapDocs decide to build an e-vault? So at SnapDocs, we are working backwards from a future where mortgage closings are perfect. So we see technology as a means to an end, but really we're obsessed about the business cases of how do you ensure that a borrower has a perfect experience? How do you ensure that uh, funding packages don't contain any errors after the closing? How do you connect all of the parties so that digital closings can happen at scale, regardless of technologies or parties or other details involved? And so for the past couple of years, we've been ramping several of our, many of our lender customers on eNote technology. And we found that there are a lot of problems that haven't yet been solved in that process. And so we decided to build some foundational eVault technology, thinking backwards from first principles, backwards from what the industry needs today. And we'll be building this as part of the broader SnapDocs platform. And with so much value, why has the industry not adopted eNotes yet? So it's not from lack of trying. Many lenders have been trying to adopt eNotes for quite a while. We've been working with lenders for the past couple of years, uh, getting eNotes up and running as part of their closing process. And the lenders that we work with that are doing eNotes at scale estimate that they're saving something like $350 per closing that has a, an eNote. Um, but I'd say the, what's been preventing lenders in the industry more broadly from adopting this technology is the same thing that's prevented the industry from adopting all the other digital closing technologies for the past two decades. And we see that as a problem of fragmentation. You know, for eVaults to work well, they have to be connected to all of the other parties that are going to be uh, interested in that electronic note. And we think we're in a uniquely interesting position to do this because we sit between parties. It's sort of what we've been doing for the past 10 years is connecting these workflows, building tools that work really well from lenders to settlement to all the parties involved in the closing. Um, and so we believe that once that connectivity exists, you'll be able to finally adopt e at scale. And to close this out, the industry has been working towards a true digital mortgage. So what does this move look like over the next three to five years? So in, in one word, I think the future is connected. And I think for a digital mortgage to, to truly work at scale across this industry and really have the impact of its promise, uh, the, the industry has to be connected. And I think it's worth every, every company really taking a step back and asking themselves what they believe a digital mortgage is. I've heard everything across the spectrum from something as simple as e-signatures on documents, all the way to a new digital infrastructure on top of which to reimagine your business. And I think the latter is the much more interesting concept to lean into. It's how we see the world at SnapDocs, and it's what we're building backwards from so that we can reimagine this industry together. It's always a pleasure chatting about the latest announcements coming out of SnapDocs. Thanks so much for joining me today, Aaron. Thanks for having me.